The uh, grand jury had returned an indictment in two counts charging Wayne Bertram, Bertram mm -hmm. Williams with the murder of Jimmy Ray Payne in one count and Nathaniel Gaeta, Gaeta in the uh, second count. That announcement came as a very big surprise late this afternoon. Not only did the attorneys for Wayne Williams think any indictment wouldn't come until next Tuesday, they never thought their client would be indicted for the murder of 21-year-old Jimmy Ray Payne. Um, I'd be less than candid if I say that I was not um, surprised at the, uh, uh, the additional count. However, on, when I think about it on, on reflection, um, I think about the fact that there has been a serious effort on the part of um, the government, the law enforcement agencies, the various agencies, to convince the, the country, even the world, that, um, that Wayne is um, implicated in all of the murders. So on reflection, I shouldn't be too surprised that they would try to tie at least one more in to, to continue with the, the um, charade and the implication of, of, of guilt. Williams had been originally arrested for the murder of Cater, and many investigators believed he would be indicted on that charge. What is known is that police have Williams on a bridge, a splash, Cater's body two days later, then matching fibers. What isn't known is what connection investigators found between Williams and Payne. It's been learned that the jurors who indicted the suspect were also surprised to hear Payne's name brought up today. However, they heard enough to connect the two also. Apparently, there also are matching fibers. Now that Fulton County has indictments, other jurisdictions, specifically DeKalb and Rockdale counties, may now move on Williams. Both counties admit to date he is their best suspect in six other task force murders. Ernie Bjorkman, Action News Tonight.